Fairy Tale episode 158. This was a lot of fun, and this is something that was has been mentioned by someone else too. Is right in the beginning is comparing the manga to the anime, and I'm finding that with Fairy Tale, I prefer the anime. As a matter of fact, uh, over the manga because this episode, I didn't really in the manga it was bo it was kind of boring to be honest. It's the only part of this arc that we're in right now that I found kind of boring. In the anime, it was okay. It was actually pretty good. Because the, the humor and the action are just a lot better in the anime. Now in Naruto, I prefer the manga over the anime. Which I think is what enhance, happens with a lot of people. But uh, like I said, the humor and everything is really... It's a lot better in the anime. So I really, like I say, this was something I didn't care that much for. In the game Hidden, I thought the idea was pretty good. And the execution wasn't really that great. I didn't. I wasn't thrilled about the whole thing with the... Uh, Juvia, her... The thing with her and Gray is pretty funny, but the deal with her constantly losing, I'm not really that thrilled about. But there was the humor in the anime just carries through. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and go to a, some of the, a couple of quotes in here. And th this really illustrates a fairy tale, I think. Okay, uh, the announcer says when they start uh, the hidden game, right? He says, "Now disappear into the silence." like a black cat lurking into the dark night okay now the second quote is when uh, Leon and Gray Juvia dives down and gets Leon and he yells panties that is fairy tale right there it's just it's a just over the top humor now uh, but also I, I like a lot of the abilities in there uh, Eve when he used Cole to go ahead because it wouldn't affect the, the, the clones the copies so he could go ahead and that was pretty good and then Rufus really showed his dominance with this multiple different kind of copy magic that he has so he just uh, you know annihilated everybody and it was pretty good and even the whole thing about fairy tale and fairy team A being the last oh the whole thing about um, the deal that and I completely forgot about this that uh, in the manga that team and I guess it was in the manga that unless they just added it in that team a and B, whoever won would, you know, they could do whatever they wanted with the other teammates for a day. And the daydreams that they had were pretty funny. I, I thought that was really good. Like I said, I don't remember if it was the manga, but uh, it was it was actually, the, the daydreams was really funny. So uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really look forward to the anime. And uh, I like, uh, it's just like any comedy. You, know, you look forward to it and you have a good laugh and it, it kind of boosts you up, you know. So, uh, we, you know, that was our weekly <laughs> fairy tale, 158. Now, I, I've gone ahead and got a, uh, um, I don't know where, where you're watching it at, but I watch it on uh, uh, Crunchyroll. And I've got, like, uh, their introductory two-week thing, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up getting it because I actually uh, really enjoy it. So, that, that's where I'm watching it. Now, if you have somewhere else you're watching it and it works for you, that's, that's awesome. So anyway, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we need more fairy tale fans. Um, but the question is, for anybody that wants to, is which do you prefer? Do you prefer the anime or the manga? So a thumbs up would be awesome. Really would appreciate it. You can always subscribe. You can always unsubscribe. You can do anything that you want to. Until next time, take care.